The Maharashtra government has signed a with us based company Virgin Hyperloop 1 to set up high speed transport system. Richard Branson unveils Hyperloop plan. Mumbai to Pune by road is a three hour journey by road. Well, with Hyperloop, it will be just 25 minutes. Virgin Hyperloop 1 will develop a Hyperloop route between Pune Central, the proposed Navi Mumbai Airport, and Mumbai, beginning with an operational demonstration 10 km track between Hinadi and Old Pune Mumbai Highway. It will take three years to complete for test run and about six to seven years for kickstart commercial operations. The project will be completed by 2025. Hyperloop is the next generation train system, which uses a magnetic levitation and a low pressure transit tube. The Hyperloop will be able to ferry 150 million passengers every year. The Hyperloop route will be a fully electric system, boasting the capability to travel up to 1000 km per hour will also have the potential for the rapid movement of palletized freight and light cargo, creating a robust backbone for on-demand deliveries, supply chains, and next-generation logistics. As per its pre-feasibility study, Hyperloop 1 claims the new route could result in socio-economic benefits of over RS350,000 core accounting for time savings, emissions and accident reduction, operational cost savings, etc. over 30 years of operation. Additionally, the company expects the Hyperloop route to ease expressway congestion and cut greenhouse gas emissions by up to 150,000 tons on a yearly basis. If you're curious about how this works, Hyperloop 1 proposes to transport passengers and cargo by loading them into a fully autonomous pod, which accelerates gradually using electric propulsion in a low-pressure tube. Magnetic levitation lifts the pod, which will then glide at speeds of over 1000 km per hour, benefiting from ultra-low aerodynamic drag and cutting travel times considerably. And if you're wondering about ticket costs, Hyperloop states that it intends to make this form of transport affordable for everyone. An estimated 50,000 passenger vehicles travel between the two cities every day, in addition to commercial vehicles and trains. Branson begged that Maharashtra will gain 55 billion INR 350,000 crores in socio-economic benefits, time savings, accident reduction and operational cost savings over 30 years of operation of the Hyperloop. Also important to note that M is not an agreement or contract, which means we will still have to wait for final terms, costs and deadlines for the project if it does go through. So we're running the pod faster and faster each day, we're going longer and longer distances, and we're getting closer to deploying it throughout the world.